All right, let's go for some delicious egg noodle. Oh, yummy, yummy, yummy. Whoa. Hey guys, it's your girl Peggy here. Welcome to the Master Up Zone, yay. Okay, for the food today, I got it from this restaurant called the Bamboo Bistro in Panorama City here in California. This restaurant is also a karaoke bar, so if you like to eat and sing at the same time, this is a good place to go. <laughs> eat and sing at the same time? How do you eat and sing at the same time? <laughs> okay, so let's take a look at the food. I got us their pancit canton, which is fried egg noodle. The noodles are cooked with soy sauce, some lemon, chicken, and chopped vegetables. One thing I like about Bamboo Bistro is that the portion size is really big. This is enough for four people. And for appetizers today, I got us their pork esau. It is fried pork intestines. This is my first time trying this. And I also got us their sinagang na baboy, which is hot and sour soup made with pork and vegetables. And look at this big piece of pork, looks really good. And it also has eggplants and other vegetables. And the portion size is really big. This is only just half of the soup. I have another half that I'm gonna stay for tomorrow. And the noodles too, this is only just half of the portion. All right, it's masara time. Woo! Okay, let's start with the noodles. Let me just squeeze the lemon juice. It's really good. Here, take a bite. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Mmm. Mmm. In my hair. Oh, wow. Wow. This is delicious. I like that it's a little bit um, soupy. This is kind of different from other um, chow mein in that it's not like dry fried noodles. This is like wet and soupy. I like it. It's almost like thick noodle soup, almost. Wow. This is delicious. Hmm. Wow, I like it. If you like fried noodles that are a little bit soupy, you should try this. This is good. Hmm, I think those are um, lobster balls, I think. This is really good. I like it. Mm. Cheers. Ooh. To soupy chow mein. Do you guys like your fried noodles a little soupy like that? Or do you like it completely dry? I mean, not completely, but you know what I mean, you know? There's some noodles that are dry and uh, crispy, and then some it's like a little wet. Okay. Let's go for this. This is um, the Sinagang, Sinagang Na Baboy, right? Hot and sour soup with pork. Let's try the soup first. This is my first time trying it. Ooh, wow. It's spicy, it's sour. Ooh, wow. This is good. I like it. Ooh, wow. This tastes good. I think it's sour from vinegar, right? Ooh, wow. Wow. I like it. The flavor is really good. Kind of reminds me of, uh, you know, um, tom yum soup. You know, in Thai cuisine, you have that hot and sour tom yum soup. Yeah, this is something similar. Okay, let's try the pork. Wow. It's a big piece. Mm. Oh wow. The pork is really tender. Wow. 
It's just this integrate in your mouth. Some eggplant. Hmm. Well, I love it. It's like it's sour. Good for their vegetables. This would be great for like a really cold day, you know, great in the winter. There's some tomato. Mmm. Very good. Ooh. Wow. I think my mom would love this dish. She loves sour and hot stuff. Oh, wow. Wow, I love the soup. Ooh. The sourness hits you. Ooh. Ah. This is a very exciting soup. It may not look exciting, but it's very exciting. <laughs> so if you're looking for exciting soup, this is it. Ooh. Okay, now let's try the pork Esau. I saw Esau. I'm pretty sure it's Esau. It's fried pork intestines. Ooh, I'm just gonna use my hands. Have you had fried pork intestines? Mmm. It's crispy. It's very light. Mmm. It's pretty good. It's not as scary as it sounds, you know, intestines. Mmm, I like it. Wow, this is great. I'm gonna dip it in the vinegar. This would be great with beer. It's like it's crunchy on the outside, and then inside is really soft and creamy. This is good. I like it. And I can't stop eating it. Hmm. Mm, it's so good. Wow. Everything is great today. Mm. In fact, every dish that I had from Bamboo Bistro is good. I have many um, food from many different uh, Filipino restaurants and Bamboo Bistro by far has the largest portion sizes. Their prices are the same as other restaurants, but their food is like double the portion. <laughs> yeah, so if you're looking for a place with big portions of food, check out Bamboo Bistro. <sighs> All right, let's go for more soupy noodles. And there's so much toppings. Ooh. There's cabbage, there's celery, there's chicken, lobster balls. Mm. Wow. Wow.
This is so good. Hmm. Mm. Yeah, so did you guys watch Curb Your Enthusiasm? The new season just came out. I think if you like Seinfeld, you'll enjoy Curb Your Enthusiasm because it's kind of like, it's very similar in the vibe, you know. Mm. Oh my god. The flavor of this intestines is really good. Everything here today is like 10 out of 10. Alright, time for some exciting soup. The pork is so tender. This Seneca soup, I'm sorry if I pronounce it wrongly, but I think this dish is one of the most uh, popular dishes in the Philippines, right? Oh wow, the sourness just hits you and it feels great. Whew. Let me just drink the soup. Is it rude to make a lot of noise while drinking soup in the Philippines? Or is it like in Japan? The louder sound you make, it means that you're complimenting the chef. Like, you're saying it's really good. Feels great drinking this. It's hot, it's sour. It just feels really comforting and exciting at the same time. Uh. How many times am I going to say exciting? Okay, you know what? I'm going to um, finish the noodles. It's a lot of noodles.
It's like green noodles. Speaking of gooey, I saw that they have chop suey. Gooey chop suey. Yeah, so maybe I could order the chop suey the next time. Do you like chop suey? You know, the funny thing about some of the names of uh, Chinese food here in America, like chop suey or what's that? Egg fu young or lo mein, right? I've never heard of it in Singapore. I'm from Singapore. Yeah, and in Singapore, we eat a lot of Chinese food and I've never heard of a lot of the dishes that are here. Yeah, and growing up in Singapore, I've never seen a fortune cookie. We don't serve fortune cookie in a um, Singapore Chinese restaurant. And I think in China too, right? They don't serve fortune cookie in Chinese restaurants in China. It's only here in America. And I remember my first uh, message from my very first fortune cookie. It says, eat more fruits to prevent indigestion. Yeah. <laughs> Do you guys remember your first message from a fortune cookie? Oh, wow. Okay, I'm gonna... Um, Eat a couple more of these delicious intestines. That were quite good. Hmm. This is a great snack. You can just serve this at bars, you know, with beer. Okay, I'm done. Okay, very satisfying meal today and very, very good food today. Everything today is 10 out of 10, <laughs> really. Okay, let's start with the pan sit canton, which is a chow mein fried egg noodle. I had many fried egg noodles before, but this is a little different in that it's kind of soupy. I think they put more um, like the chicken broth or something. So it's like uh, gooey, you know, it's kind of like a gooey fried noodles. It's really nice and lots of toppings. There's chicken, there's uh, lobster balls. When I say lobster balls, I mean these lobster balls, you know, like cut up lobster balls, not literally their balls. Yeah, so there's a lot of vegetables in it, lots of toppings. This is very, very delicious. Okay, and then this is my first time trying the synagogue na ba boy, which is uh, with pork, right? Ba boy means pork. And this synagogue, they have other versions as well, like with fish or beef or just all vegetables. And it's sour, it's spicy, it's hot. So when you drink it, it's like, whoo, it just hits you. And it feels great. I think this would be great during the winter when it's all cold outside and then you drink something hot and sour. Wow. And then this is also my first time trying the fried pork intestines, which is a uh, uh, pork esau, right? Esau. I had intestines before, pork intestines, but they're not fried. Uh, when it's fried, it's very crispy, it tastes very light. Uh, the outside is very crispy and then inside it's kind of creamy. And when you dip it in the vinegar sauce, really good. This is a really good beer uh, companion. Alright, I'm gonna go take a uh, synagogue nap. A uh, hot and sour nap to digest my hot and sour soup. <laughs> Feel free to suggest what other dishes um, I have to try. Let me know down in the comments or any other restaurants that have really good food that I must check out. Let me know as well. So be sure to subscribe and like this video and I'll see you all in my next video which will be here, here, here or here. Yeah, go check them out. See you there.